Hi everyone! So in today's video, we are going to talk about or break down the efforts needed in Warrior 1 or Vira Bidrasana 1. Okay, so we'll talk about the feet, where you um, place your feet. We'll talk about what, what's happening at the hips, what's happening at the shoulders and at the arms. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful for you. So we'll talk about warrior one. So we'll, let's start with the feet. So you can bring your hands to your hips, start hip width apart, and then we'll step the right foot back. Okay. Now in any of the standing poses, you always want to make sure that you feel grounded. Okay. So take a stance where you're comfortable, maybe it's hip width apart, or if that doesn't feel stable for you, then you can always make the stance wider, then maybe bring the right foot out. Um, closer to the edge of your mat okay. and then from here okay, we'll, you'll go ahead and start bending that knee okay. so what you want is when you start to bend the front leg you want to keep it um, the knee right on top of the heel so if you know that you can go deeper then adjust move that left foot forward okay. so once you have that stability and grounding in your feet so you want the effort of pressing both legs down, okay? especially on the back leg. So root that back leg down. Oftentimes you might feel that it's heavier load on the front leg. So keep that, in this case, right leg pressing down. Now once you have that, what's happening to the hip area? As your back leg grounds down, you want your right hip to roll forward. Okay. So if I exaggerate the movement, look where my hip points are, point, are pointing and I want the right hip to roll forward. Okay. So your right leg is grounding down but the right hip is rolling forward. Now once you have that effort, similar to what we do in our lunges, find the effort of traction. So as if you're hugging a ball between the inner thighs and then now I'm feeling stable and grounded and then when we move up to the belly, so what's happening here? There's a tendency for most to sort of stick the butt out and notice that there will be more compression at the lower back. So what you want, imagine you have a zipper from your pelvis, you're zipping that up all the way up to your ribs. Okay, so again, we want to brace our belly or brace the core. So notice, notice if I'm just hanging out, belly's popping forward. So brace, zip, and then hold there, contain, hold, and then from here, we'll start to reach the arms forward and up in our warrior one, okay? And then from here, okay, how about let's take that first on the other side, bring the hands onto the hips, and then we'll step the right foot forward, give your legs a shake, okay? So we'll talk about um, the feet, the hips, and the belly the efforts needed on the left side, and then we'll add the arms and the shoulders. So let's try that on our left side, okay? So you'll step the left foot back. So again, find that comfortable stance, whether it's hip width apart or wider. Bend any amount on that front knee, but stopping right on top of the heel. And then find the traction. As your back leg grounds down, left hip will roll forward, okay? Activate the zipper, find the brace, and then from here, we'll go ahead and reach our arms forward and up. Okay. And then breathe here. One more breath in. And then as you exhale, we'll slowly release. Okay, we'll step the left foot forward. Give yourselves a shake. Okay. So we'll just do another quick recap, but then this time, you'll grab your block so that we bring attention to what's happening from the shoulders up, okay? So let's go ahead, let's take that again on the left side, step the left foot back, find that comfortable stance where you feel grounded, bend any amount on that front leg, ground, find the effort of the back hip rolling forward, activate the zipper, and then from here, we'll hold the block, palms pressing in, and then as you inhale, you'll reach your arms forward and up. Now, if there's that feeling of the shoulders lifting up towards the ears, that it, that it tends to shorten the neck, 
can we try to think about our upper arms we're trying to roll it in towards the ears as we try to lift the block up towards the ceiling. Okay. Now that we're talking about the shoulders and the hands, notice if we've lost the effort from the hips down. Okay, one more breath here. And then as you exhale, we'll slowly release. We'll step the left foot forward. Then we'll give the legs a shake. So we'll talk what happens in the arms and in the hands when we're in warrior one. Okay. But let's do that first standing up. Okay. So when we reach our arms forward and up in warrior one, if you feel that the hands over the head is not comfortable for your shoulders, then you can always bring the hands lightly forward. So know that you always have that option. Okay. But what we want, whether your hands are slightly forward or over the head, if you feel that this happens to you, okay, that your shoulders are moving in towards the ears, what we want is for our upper arms or the triceps to roll in towards the face. Okay? So we'll do that again. So if you look at where my palms are going, if I roll my triceps in so much so that my palms will start to turn back. Okay? But know that there is really a lot of movement at the wrist. Okay? One more breath here. And then exhale, we'll slowly release. We'll give it a shake. Okay, we'll do that again. So this time we'll grab our block. Okay, you'll grab your block and then go ahead, reach your arms forward and up. Okay, so find that angle where you know it's comfortable for your shoulders. Okay. And then from here, just notice if there's a tendency for you to do this. So meaning, um, actually our upper traps are kicking in a lot. So similar to the exercise that we just did, can you try to wrap your triceps in or roll the upper arms in? And then notice when I do that, it makes more space for my neck, okay? But since I have the block, or my hands are holding the block, then the movement is really isolated in the upper arms, okay? So notice if my left hand, okay, so I'll grip the block, I'll let go of my left hand, so what we want as I press my hand towards the block is I'm doing this, okay? But since my palms are holding the block, it's very minimal movement, okay? Hold here and breathe and then see how much we can lift the block up towards the ceiling. One more breath. And then exhale, we'll slowly lower down, give the shoulders a shake. Okay, so this time we'll do it all together with the block. We'll step the right foot back. So again, find that comfortable stance. Bend any amount on the front knee. Ground the back leg as the right hip rolls forward. Add the zipper. Okay. And then this time, we'll add the work for the shoulders and arms with the block, reaching it forward and up. Okay. So similar to what we just did earlier, can we bring the triceps or upper arms to roll in and then see if we can add that additional length from the sides of our waist as we reach the block up towards the ceiling. And then hold here. And then notice that since there's a lot of effort happening at Warrior One, notice what turns off first. Okay, one more breath. And then as you exhale, we'll slowly release. Okay, we'll step the right foot forward. You can just give yourself a quick shake. Then we'll do that on the left side. Let's recap everything that we did on the left side, this time without the blocks. Okay, hands can be on the hips. Then from here, step the left foot back. Again, comfortable stance. Widen if you need to feel more balance as you bend the right knee. Stop when it's on top of the heel. Know that you can bend deeper by moving the right foot forward. So ground the back leg, roll the left hip forward, activate the zipper, and then when you're ready, reach the arms forward and up. And then breathe here. Okay. And then as the upper arms roll in, imagine you're trying to lift that block up. And then connect with the breath. Lengthen the inhale. Lengthen the exhale. And then maybe just checking in on the efforts. Are you still finding traction at the legs? Is your belly still bracing? Are your arms still wrapping in as it reaches up? One more breath here. And then from here, we'll slowly release. 
lower down the hands stepping forward you can give yourself a shake and that is your warrior one namaste so i hope that was helpful for you and we learned about the efforts um, and actions needed to hold warrior one and if that was helpful, be sure to check out the other videos on breaking down poses. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and the links are also down below. And I would like to thank you for watching. This is Every Yoga by Jo and Daya, sharing everyday yoga for everybody.